The history of Chermside begins between 1844 and 1854 when a German missionary by the name of Karl Friedrich Gerler crashed into this creek with his dray. Both he and the dray ended up in the water. I don't know whether he swore in German, English or Latin. The creek's indigenous name is not recorded. However, as a result of the missionary's adventures here, this creek and the surrounding area became known as Downfall Creek. And just to add to the atmosphere of this place, the next creek just south of here was known as Dead Man's Gully. The German missionary Gerler came from a wealthy family in Prussia and he was to inherit a considerable fortune. At one time he had his own factory but instead of getting married he decided to pursue a life in the church. He said that he had found the most beautiful and richest bride in Christ. Consequently he was disinherited by his family and his grandfather wrote to him saying, I am now quite sure of your madness. At this time, Gympie Road wouldn't even rate as a rough bush track. However, the soil here was pretty good for agriculture. There was plentiful timber and the fresh water here was abundant. It was in 1864 that the Downfall Creek area was surveyed by Edgar Huxtable. This was on behalf of the colonial government. At the time, Queensland was pretty much nearly broke and they had to open up some more land for development. And this was one of the areas that they chose for subdivision. There is actually a Huxtable Park just over the border in Chermside West. The very first store to open in the Downfall Creek area was in 1866. It was opened by Mr. John Patterson and it was right about here on the corner of Banfield Street and Gympie Road. Banfield Street back then was called Short Street. And I find it very interesting that he built his shop here. This is one of the high points in the district. So I guess anyone coming along what would be Gympie Road, either going north or south, could see his store on a rise. So not a bad idea to build the first store where everyone could see it. But then something happened. In 1867, the Gympie Gold Rush began. And for the multitude of folks in Brisbane who wanted to get a piece of the action, they began heading north in ever-increasing numbers. The problem was there was no half-decent road between Brisbane and Gympie. There was just a bush path running through Downfall Creek. Anyone wanting to get from Brisbane to the new gold fields had to pass through Downfall Creek. Suddenly, the Downfall Creek area found itself on a busy thoroughfare, and it has remained that way ever since. And it was in 1868 that William Edward Murphy leased 504 acres between Ellison Road and Hamilton Road. That area pretty much now is taken up by Chermside Shopping Centre, oh, which is over there. Down here at the old intersection of Hamilton Road and Webster Road, back in the 1860s, this was known as the German Quarter by virtue of the fact that there were quite a number of German families who had settled in this area. Also, Hamilton Road at the time was known as Herman Road. Sometime later, a fellow by the name of William Early migrated out here from Wales and he bought some property here at the German Quarter. Later, his son Richard got into the soft drink manufacture business because he had a very good supply of fresh water on his property on Hamilton Road. William's other son, George, ended up buying the Patterson store on Gympie Road. Unfortunately, some years later, George was run over by his own car. And now we come to a fellow called Andrew Hamilton. He tried his luck in the Gympie Goldfields, didn't find a lot of success. So he and his wife Margaret and their seven children relocated to here, to Downfall Creek. He opened his own business on Gympie Road and he called it, and I've got it here, the Five Mile Town Shoeing Forge and General Smith. 
In 1873, he built a house, a very nice one too, which he called Bernie Bray. And I believe the house used to stand just behind me over there, where that gazebo is today. The house was unfortunately demolished in 1952. first church opened in Downfall Creek in 1877. I don't know where the site of that church was, however in 1926 it was picked up and moved here to the corner of Hamilton and Gympie Roads. It was replaced in 1950 by this brick church and that survived up until about 2007 when it was demolished. And it was in 1880 that the first post office opened here and it actually opened in Andrew Hamilton's blacksmith store. In this photograph from 1892, you can see Mrs. Hamilton, who's now the postmistress, standing outside what looks like a new build. At the right of the photo is where the post office was. In 1880, the Nunda Divisional Board was established. This included not only Downfall Creek, but all the areas between Breakfast Creek to the South Pine River. After the Toomble Divisional Board split away in 1883, the remaining areas set up their own headquarters at Downfall Creek on the Gympie Road here in 1884. And this was replaced in 1902 by the Kedron Shire Council. In fact, that Shire Council building was about here. That uniting church just behind me there on the corner of Rody Road and Gympie Road that was the site in 1900 of the Downfall Creek State School. It changed its name to Chermside State School in 1902. In 1903, the area became known as Chermside, named in honour of Sir Herbert Chermside, the Governor of Queensland, who got the job in 1902. Everyone pretty much agreed that the name Downfall Creek wasn't good for business, and neither was Dead Man's Gully. It was local school teacher James Ewart who led the charge to get the name changed. However, Sir Herbert Chermside and his dopey wife didn't much care for how things were run in the state. Or to put it another way, they were a bit snooty and Herbert resigned from his post without serving the full term. During World War I, the 120 Australian Light Horse were camped here at Marchant Park. Huge place today, it's all cricket pitches. I think there's about 10 of them or something. Beautiful spot though. And amongst all this traffic, Gympie Road is just over that way. And yet there's some beautiful trees here. In 1921, the Marchant family donated this land that they owned to the then Shire of Kedron. And George Marchant himself was a very wealthy man he once donated £82,000 to the Temperance League for the construction of the Canberra Hotel in the city, just opposite Central Station. I got such a fright when I found out that hotel was a temperance hotel. However, there was a problem because someone was still working on the land here that was going to be donated. And that was a guy called August Velnagel. And he had a blacksmith shop, well, right about here. That's Gimpy Road just there and Murphy Road behind me. He'd been here since 1899 and George Marchant wanted him out. So a compromise was reached. The local Shire Council would move Velnagel's blacksmith shop from here right across the road. And those buildings are still there today.
These beautiful gates were erected in 1924. It was in 1928 that the Chermside Theatre opened. The first film they showed there was The Man Who Laughs. However, the projector broke down halfway through. The character of Gwynplaine was the inspiration for the Joker in the DC comics of Batman. Later, it was known as the Dawn Theatre. There was a crying room at the back where babies could sing arias. Where I'm walking right now is through the middle of the 7th Brigade Park. Back during World War II, this was known as Camp Chermside. The camp was in operation from 1940 to 1946. The 7th Brigade was an all Queensland military unit. And by 1945, there were a staggering 5,000 soldiers stationed here. This here is Kitty Hawk Drive, and it got its name from a plane crash, a P-40 Kitty Hawk American fighter plane that crashed somewhere near here. I think it crashed about 50 metres from the future uh, Kedron Wavell RSL Club. Anyway, further research seems to indicate that it wasn't a Kitty Hawk plane and was in fact a Thunderbolt. I don't think there are any planes at the moment to rename Kitty Hawk Drive to Thunderbolt Drive. In 1947, the trams came here to Chermside, and right here, near the intersection with Hamilton Road on Gympie Road, was the tram terminus. In 1952, the Brisbane Chest Hospital opened, housed in prefabricated wards. This later became the Prince Charles Hospital. On a visit in 1974, Charles said he would have to come back one day and rename the hospital when he became king. Just approaching Chermside Shopping Centre and over there was the site of the Brisbane Cash and Carry. That opened in 1955. That was the forerunner to the Chermside Shopping Centre. Now today people complain about self-serve in supermarkets. Isn't it terrible? It's taking jobs away from staff. It's all automated. People don't like it. But the whole Cash and Carry concept dates back to 1923 cash and carry was a self-serve supermarket so the idea of self-serve in a supermarket is a very very old one it's a century old now on the 30th of may 1957 allen and stark's chermside drive-in shopping center was opened 15,000 people showed up for it there was one department store allen and stark's one supermarket the brisbane cash and carry and 25 specialty stores I'm now on the corner of Gympie Road and Hall Street. The old School of Arts Hall was here. It's not there anymore. I'll just come back around here. I'll get to this building in a moment. School of Arts was on the corner of Hall and Gympie, but it got shifted back to this area. And then it was demolished. I don't know when it was demolished. But this building, which says Sasquatch, this building here used to be the old library. It was built in 1958. I think in its time, it's also been a blockbuster video store. Old library. But yeah, the School of Arts used to be right there, right where that building is now. That used to be the School of Arts and it got pushed back. In 1959, Meyer took over the Allen and Stark stores and their Chermside store became a Meyer. Now this building here, this derelict building now, this was the old post office. Well, when I say old, I mean it opened in 1962. And it was next door to the Dawn Theatre. And that's gone as well. What I'm going to do now is something rather brave. And that's get across this very large roundabout on Hamilton Road. Well, that part was easy. Um, now I've got to get across this part of the road. Actually, I thought this would be a lot harder. But I've got to run. 
you can see here in this 1974 photograph the completion of the big roundabout here on Webster and Hamilton Roads. In the middle of this very large roundabout, part of Hamilton Road still exists. And that's it behind me there. This area here at the intersection of Webster and um, Hamilton, Ambliance. And that's part of Downfall Creek itself right there. Just having a little poke around here in the middle of the roundabout and I've noticed under the old bridge, just over there, you can see underneath there's a couple of posts in the ground. In fact, there's another one around the other side as well. I guess they would be the old supports for the original wooden bridge or one of the very early wooden bridges going over Downfall Creek. Westfield bought Chermside Shopping Centre in 1996 and then it was in 1999 that further upgrades added, well, almost doubled the floor space of the centre. Further expansion took place in 2005. All of that means that this place is one glorious monstrosity. It was a gold rush in the 19th century that put Downfall Creek on the map and then it was 20th century consumerism that kept Chermside on that map and helped it to prosper and grow and to become the retail heart that it is today. In a way, nothing has really changed. This road here, Gympie Road, made Downfall Creek and it continues to make Chermside. Thanks very much for watching the documentary. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Every subscription really helps the channel. I'll see you again soon. Oh, and just on a personal note, to the councillors in charge of this division and this ward, in my opinion, you really need to plant some trees here. This place is baking in the summer.